Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this candle. First open a new document, press the letter M for the rectangle tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a rectangle. Now switch to the ellipse tool, click on the center guide and pressing down the Alt key draw an ellipse that is the same width as the rectangle. Using the selection tool move it up to line up with the top of the rectangle. Let's change the stroke of both shapes to two points. Next we'll change the fill to a different color. Select the rectangle, swap the fill in the stroke and open the swatches panel. You can use one of the presets or you can create your own. I'm going to choose a gradient I've created before. It is a simple dark and light red color gradient. And apply the same gradient to the top. Let's change its type to radial and adjust it a bit. In the next few steps we will create a wick. Let's zoom in, get rid of the fill and make sure the stroke is selected. Now switch to the pen tool and draw a short line. Next open the stroke panel and change its weight to 16 points. Now go to object and choose expand. Make sure the stroke and the fill are checked and click OK. Now go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Roughen. Check the preview box so you can better see what we are doing. And let's make some changes. Experiment with these options to see what works best for you. Next we will leave the top edge as it is and make the bottom edge flat. First make sure your shape is selected, then go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. Now press the Shift and E keys on your keyboard for the Eraser tool and holding down the Alt key click, hold and drag to make a cut. Let's move it to the center and adjust it. In the next several steps we will create this shape. Press the letter M for the rectangle tool, swap the fill and the stroke and draw a square. Next we'll make several copies and scale them down. To do that press the letter S for the scale tool and then press enter. Type 80 in the uniform window and click copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard four times to make more copies. Select the smallest square and change its color to green. Now select the biggest square and change its color to white. Select the next square and change its color to red. Finally select all the black squares and press the delete key on your keyboard. Next select all the squares and holding down the shift key rotate them by 45 degrees. Then go to effect, distort and transform and choose pucker and bloat. Check the preview box and move the slider to the left. Now go to object and choose expand appearance. Let's resize it and then drag the bottom of the bounding box down to get this effect. In the next few steps we will make two more copies and space them equally. Let's scale down this shape a little bit more and place it on top of the rectangle. Next holding down the shift and alt keys make a copy. Then select both shapes, go to object, blend and choose Blend Options. Set the spacing to specified steps and type 1. Go to Object one more time, select Blend and choose Make. Next we will create a glow. First switch to the Ellipse tool, click in the center of this guideline and holding down the Shift and Alt keys draw a circle. 
then right click with your mouse, choose Arrange and send to back. Now all you need to do is to add a radial gradient. You can choose anything from the presets or if you would like to use the same gradient as mine, here are the color values for it. Next we will create a flame effect. First switch to the ellipse tool and draw a circle. Then using the direct selection tool, select the anchor point on top and drag it up. Now holding down the ALT key, move the left handle down to get this shape. Let's move the top handle from the left anchor point a little bit up and this anchor point a little bit higher. Now adjust the curve. For this shape I will use a different gradient. Here are the color values. And let's make some adjustments. Finally we will add a dashed line stroke to it. First open the stroke window, make sure the stroke is on top and change it to black. Next check the dashed line box and insert these values into the dash and gap windows. Let's add the same stroke to this shape as well. Next resize this flame, move it over here and bring this part to the front. Finally select everything, group it together, then go to the align window, make sure align to artboard is checked and choose horizontal and vertical align center. Thanks for watching, bye bye.